You're here because your hair is not growing, right? Oh, yes. Welcome back to my channel. If you're just seeing this face for the first time, my name is Amara and you're welcome to my channel. In this channel, we do everything hair care, DIYs, anything associated with hair. So if you're having any issue, this channel is a place for you. Do well to subscribe, like, and comment. So in today's video, we'll be talking about the little issues you have with your hair, the reason why your hair is not growing. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional. I'm not a stylist. What I'm going to talk about in this video are things that have worked for me over the years. I've been natural for, I think, five years. And at first, I was struggling. Like every other person, I was struggling. I didn't know what I was doing. But along the line, I got to pick up. I got to learn, just like you watching this video now. I'm sure the reason why you're watching this video is because you're having one or two hair issues that you want to figure out how to solve it. So, having said that, it is important to know that your hair grows with time, consistent, perseverance, and hard work. And there's no magic product for hair growth. So, if you've ever heard, buy this so your hair will grow, that is a lie. Your hair takes time. An average human being's hair grow an inch a month. But your hair can grow a little more than that if you have fast hair growth. Depending on your gene, your hair can grow better. Your hair normally grows half an inch a month. Your hair cannot grow overnight except if you're a super human being. Except if you have some kind of superpowers. Do you? <laughs> what works for me might not work for you what works for mr a might not work for mr b because we are two different people we react to things differently we have different genetics we have different level of tolerance something that works for me might not work for you so that's why in my video i always advise you do a text run first you try it out before you use it so no one ever gets good by trying something once you have to try and try again and retry to know what works for you before i started my hair journey i was having one issue not just one issue but this one is the major one i was prone to dandruff no matter how i wash my hair no matter how many times i wash my hair in a week i'll always have dandruff because i have dry scalp so i'm prone to dandruff i easily have dandruff i can make my hair today and tomorrow i'm already having dandruff i'm scratching giving my my scalp one injury or the other so i had this stylist that I usually do my hair that time she will always tell me that each time i complain about the dandruff she will tell me not to worry about it that the dandruff grows hair <laughs> i don't know if i'm the only one that i've heard this thing before but People say that dandruff grow hair. She don't worry about it. The dandruff grow your hair. And I will be scratching. My hair don't last. Because I used to scratch because it itches a lot. You know when you have build up on your scalp and maybe you sweat. You know how uncomfortable that can get. That's what, what was happening to me. And anytime I complain, she would tell me not to worry about it that my hair is growing. And to be honest with you, my hair wasn't growing. Instead, my hair was breaking off. She would even apply shea butter. She would apply shea butter after weaving the hair. She would apply shea butter on it. Just imagine someone that is prone to dandruff. Plus shea butter on the scalp. You know how heavy shea butter is. You will not apply shea butter on your scalp. It will also clog the scalp. Plus the dandruff. It was terrible. Instead of my hair to grow, my hair was cutting. Anytime I comb my hair, if you look at the comb, you will see strands of my hair. Over the years, I keep this has been happening to me. Instead of me to grow my hair, my hair was was getting short. In fact, whenever I do my hair, I always have breakage, especially in my front here. All my front hair was gone. Sorry, I don't have any um, 
any picture I can show. I lost my I lost my photos. I would you would have seen how bad it was. My front hair was gone because of the bad hair practices. And I keep saying this is not all the hairstylists that know anything about natural hair. So it's not everywhere that you go that you expect them to treat your natural hair hair the way you want them to treat or the way it's supposed to be treated not everybody know anything about natural hair so she was doing more harm than good to me she was she was making my hair bad she was damaging my hair to the extent that my hair started in the middle of my hair like this everywhere was bored and anytime i weave my hair i always look weird so what i resorted to doing was using gel you know those black gel i'll just use it to cover it up and i didn't even know that my, forgive my ignorance i didn't even know that the gel i was putting there was even making the matter worse because when the gel dries it resulted to breaking the hair more safe the hair will break before you know it this place was as if there was no hairline fast forward to 2020 yeah 2020 let me excuse me let me make sure 20 2020 2021 22 23 24 yeah that's five years right and yeah fast forward to 2020 i stumbled, I stumbled upon a natural hair a uh, content creator if i can remember very well it was on i think ig yes i came across this lady she had a very long hair like before i didn't believe that nigerians can have long hair to be honest i didn't believe that nigeria can have long hair like like her hair was very long and she was a nigerian i was like wow so someone can someone's hair can be long like this i went through her page i i noticed that she was she does all these all these diys she uses herbs she does a lot of things i was i was very curious i started following her i started reading comments i started she st she was doing i think a challenge that time and she had people who also who is also doing the challenge so at the end of the week they will send send their pictures of the progress that they've they've achieved during that week and some of them we are using diys and I was like, maybe if I can do if I can do this DIY, maybe my hair will grow. So I started doing DIYs. That time, yeah. rice water was very popular. That time, I think that was what they were using with other herbs, a mixture of herbs. So I started using it, and along the line, I also got to know other natural hair content creators and what they do and how they do it. So I got interested in the movement. I got interested in the art of taking care of your hair. So. I joined them. I started doing. I started attending classes, online classes. I started going to. I started doing my own research. I noticed growth, especially from my front, the front of my hair. When I started using on onions, uh, um, onions juice for the front of my hair, that time I would go to school and be smelling of onion because I always every night I apply onion juice on my scalp here. I would be smelling of onions and when i entered the class people would say ah who brought food i was when i was smelling of food <laughs> i you know how terrible onions used to smell ah oh, god it was it was bad but i know what i was doing because i really needed to change my hair i really needed to grow out my edges because i didn't like the way it was looking i started making progress i started seeing that my hair is growing I even learned how to do all this the twist up to now i don't know how to do my hair but you see that twist the two strands twist i think i was i was doing it for myself except when i had to go to school so in my school it even made it worse it made my situation worse because that time in my school we used to we usually have styles for the week every week you are expected to change your style change your hairstyle and if you don't you'll be punished so this required me to be making my hair every week and <laughs> It was stressing my scalp so i didn't really retain the length i would have retained if i was keeping my hair for maybe a month or two before i lose it you know how that goes now so it was it was still stressing me but apart from that i was seeing i was seeing major changes and 
I even had to change my stylist. I had to get another person to do my hair and maybe do it in a in a way that it won't cost me any harm. Sure you get. <laughs> and I also learned to to how to take care of my scalp and how to cleanse my scalp. So that I learned the most important part of your hair journey is having a clean scalp like taking care of your scalp because that is where your hair grow out or and if something is wrong with your scalp you're not going to get the amount of hair you should be growing you're not going to grow that so i learned to be taking care of my hair i also learned not to set realistic goal for me for myself because because another person's hair is growing more than a half an inch a month my hair should also grow that no in fact i don't even measure my hair except if i'm on a hair challenge so i learned not to be setting unrealistic goal for myself i learned to grow my hair i should focus more on the health of my hair than the length of my hair so i don't want my hair to just grow out very long but the health is zero i want my hair to be healthy all the way so i learned to be patient with myself consistent and also put in the work i learned to sort out products that work for my hair i learned to also treat my hair better love my hair treat it like a plant i also learned not to jump on hair trends there was a time if i can remember very well there was a time i i did this um Mm, what was this hair called save? i think it's all this gonna weave in that they will pick your hair from the front here tiny then as it goes on it becomes big i did that hair and lo and behold my front hair that i've been training for years that i'm struggling to bring back this style <laughs> took off all my front hair <laughs> Oh God, he's painting me that I don't have pictures. He's painting me that I lost my phone. I don't have anywhere to show you for this picture. But that style took off my the front of my hair. After I took down that hair, I was regretting it. In my life, I will never do this this kind of style again. I learned not to drop on trendy styles. I rather look ugly on the hair that is good for my for my scalp and for the the health of my hair that to be on a trending cute style that damaged my scalp so i even have a friend of mine has told me before amara i've never seen you with any trending cute style before <laughs> i didn't feel bad i didn't feel bad about that because she probably do not understand because her hair is short and my hair is long and healthy so she probably don't understand my my journey she probably does not understand that because that is why I didn't even take I didn't take that to the heart. I just said, oh, no wahala. If you say so, so I I avoided trading hairstyles. Sometimes I would do a um, mini mini braid and I will carry this mini braid for one month. Somebody would think I don't like I don't like mm, I don't like putting extensions or looking cute or laying my edges every time. No, it's not that I don't like it, but. I just know i just know that if i do that it's going to be detrimental to my journey it's going to probably bring what i've worked for all these years so i rather not do that almost like i could make a whole meal on my head so i learned to incorporate you see god god is wonderful god has made all these things all these leaves all these green leaves fruit vegetable god has made it to be beneficial to our our hair God has made it to be beneficial to our health. And I learned to incorporate all those things to my regimen. I learned to do a tea rinse, do all these things, protein treatments, avocado and banana, honey and all those things. I learned to put good use of all those things. And I'm seeing the result though. My next point will be, before I get to it, I would like to say do what work for you do exactly what work for you you can try this and if it doesn't work for you then find out which one works better for you for me i only wash my hair once in a month i wash my hair once in a month i don't see the need to wash my hair every week or every two weeks because i think i'm do, I'm, I'm just doing too much and i'm stressing my scalp too much and 
reducing it of its natural oil i know people who can go a month without washing their hair i know people who their hair their hair flourish more when they wash it every every week I, yeah i know people who actually wash their hair every week so because my, i wash my hair every month because that's that is what works for me i won't say because it works for me it's you should also do that i won't say that i will advise you to know what works for you practice it you can wash your hair maybe once in a week and if you if you notice that your hair is your scalp is dry the the, the natural oil on your scalp is probably gone because you're washing it too much then you should come down to maybe once in a month so that that's what i do i wash my hair once in a month don't wash your hair every week because you're going to strip it of its natural oil if i'm making sense like i said that is what works for me so figure out what what works for you and stick to that you can substitute biotin with with fruits like carrots eggs oatmeal soya beans walnuts sweet potato spinach milk banana almond so on having said that i hope you enjoy everything in this video